John Boehner says immigration legislation is dead. President Obama blasts Republicans as if he had nothing to do with a humanitarian crisis on our southern border. Judith Miller and Dr. Jason Johnson on the A-Team, next. Well, joining us now, the A-Team, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, Fox News contributor, Judith Miller, Dr. Jason Johnson, political science professor at Hiram College, and politics editor for The Source magazine. Good of you both to be here. Let's start with the president and his immigration speech today, Judy. Uh, what did you think of it? Well, I thought it was actually very passionate for the president. I thought it was kind of uh, the only thing he could do, but I did notice that he was doubling down on a course of action that the Supreme Court seems to have some problems with. So I don't know how this is gonna play politically. <laughs> your thoughts, your thoughts, Jason? Yeah, I mean, look, this was the I will turn this car around moment. Uh, he was he was very much dad in chief. He was lecturing Congress. He was lecturing everybody. I, I do think he made one very solid point, which is regardless of the disagreement or distrust between this president and the Republicans in Congress, something has to be done about this crisis. Finger pointing isn't necessarily that helpful right now. We need to do something about these kids yeah. at the border. You know, you say between Republicans and Congress, that would fit the template that the president is urging. Uh, but it belies the reality, which is that uh, his disapproval rating is so high now uh, that he has brought in independents and even some Democrats who disapprove of him. Uh, it, and even as he tried to cast this as a Tea Party-led Republican Party, uh, he was being disingenuous in the extreme, wasn't he? Because the Republican Party is warring on the Tea Party. Oh, Lou, but I thought he was very nice to Mr. Boehner for a change, and he praised, though not by name, the Republicans who've been working with him mm -hmm. to get the immigration bill through. Look, I think that there is a problem on the border. Most Americans know that, and I think he's counting on the fact that Americans are going to say, let's just solve this problem. Uh, you know, I've been hearing this nonsense, if I may say, <laughs> for now nine years. Uh, the Republicans and Democrats had a chance in both the Senate and the House, Jason, to have resolved this back in 2006 and 7, because because the Senate would not would not go halfway and meet those who want border security. Uh, we now right. have the situation that confronts us all. Border security. I, I, I've been using this syllogism to sort of express what I think is the practical view of it all. A nation cannot reform immigration laws if it cannot control immigration. And it cannot right. control immigration uh, if it cannot control its borders. It is that straightforward. It is that succinct, in my opinion. Your thoughts? I, I agree. Look, my concern with the borders has always been it gets conflated into not only a political issue but a racial issue. And it's a national security issue. There are terrorists who want to kill us. There are drug cartels in Mexico who have destroyed that country who are trying to get into ours. And rather than focusing on those particular issues, we get caught up in particular constituents groups who want new voters. We get caught up in racist politicians who want to sort of flag wave and, and, and cause all sorts of dog whistling, when really this is a national security issue. Both Republicans and Democrats in Congress need to get serious about this. Ask anyone living on the borders in Arizona and California and Texas, these drug cartels and one day possibly a terrorist can be getting through if we don't do something about the borders. You know, the fact is, the four states that uh, Jason's referring to with, with the addition of New Mexico, I, I mean, these states are being overrun uh, by, right. I, I, you know, we're, we're seeing reports about towns being bankrupted as they're trying to deal with uh, the, just the sheer numbers of people crossing illegally. The president will not even discuss uh, uh, putting the Border Patrol on the border. His administration has pulled the Border Patrol from the border uh, and moved them, to, and many of them, to desks and uh, put them in the position of being observers and sometimes distant observers rather than actually securing the border. Do you, would you like to see the president change that? Well, I think he did that today. I mean, he, he basically said he's going to take resources from the inside. He's going to send them to the border. There's all this talk about how the president's going to allocate up to $2 billion, if he can, right. on his own, redirect it mm -hmm. into border security. I think you may see some unilateral action that a lot of people in both parties may not like. Let, let's turn to, uh, let, let's turn to the, the Supreme Court decision today, Jason, and uh, this was a, a, a body blow to the administration on Obamacare and 
uh, the uh, contraception mandate, wasn't it? I mean, it can be. I think it was a body blow to the American people. Look, we can talk about contraception. We can talk about Obamacare. What concerns me is any time that our government increases the personhood of corporations, it's a corporation. A corporation does not have a faith. A corporation does not have a belief system. And by giving that kind of power to our bosses, it continues to diminish the power of people who go to work every day. And that's my serious concern about this. You can't have a company that's, you know, liable in one way, but in other ways gets to enforce your particular religion. There needs to be a greater separation that the Supreme Court really disappointed the American people today. All of the American people, Jason? You're not being a bit broad on that? <laughs> no, I, I'm saying, I'm saying any American citizen who's concerned about their rights. How about all the people who believe in God and, and practice rights? their religions? There, there, uh, are, got pl to there be are plenty inspired. of people who believe in God. There are plenty of people who believe in God in this country who don't like the idea that a corporation has to be a reflection of your boss's belief system. Yeah. I think it's fine that the people who run Hobby Lobby, if they don't like contraception, if they don't yeah. like gay marriage, they can dislike anybody. Spend money on it. But the business has to operate independently. We have secular economies in this country that's what makes America great uh, and we so I, I think Jason just eliminated the not-for-profit uh, he just eliminated the very idea that there should be a tax exemption of some of, of any kind what oh, do no. you think well look, no. <laughs> no he's not and I, I you, you no. know you're just having a little fun here I am right? having a little fun I'll admit <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with Jason because I believe that this this kind of giving this empowerment of corporations as people is a very dangerous thing yeah. I mean what are we going to do let them marry next I'll tell you what if we can if we and can they, give them rights let's put the, by the way the they heads, do that all the time let's, let's have corporations that's true it's called a merger and an acquisition but if we're going to do this, fine, let's put GM in jail for the 13 people it may have killed. I mean, down this road goes a whole set of problems that I don't think people are really thinking so about. So you're, you're thinking that perhaps this may be a term of art, uh, an artifice that is too, too artful, this idea of uh, citizenship and personhood for corporations? I don't like I think it. we get it. All right. <laughs> Judith yeah. Miller, thank Jason you. Johnson, thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to vote in our poll tonight. Do you believe it is even possible to secure our borders and ports uh, over the next two and a half years of the Obama administration? Vote at LouDobbs.com. Tweet your response at LouDobbs News.